Ronnie Cummins, the founder of the Organic Consumers Association, shares with us an amazing story of how he's taken a common desert plant like agave that is typically discarded and thrown away and considered a waste product and converted it to a nutritious food supply for animals that literally has the potential to change the entire economy of 40% of the planet that has similar arid conditions. We have been for 10 years uh, running a research and teaching farm outside of San Miguel de Allende in the red smack in the middle of Mexico. It's the high desert area. What's difficult as a farmer or a rancher, uh, if you live in the semi-arid or arid parts of the world, is not only that your rainfall is uh, seasonal and you don't get a whole lot of it, uh, but that it is almost impossible to raise crops on a lot of this terrain. If you're a small farmer, you can't afford alfalfa and you can't afford hay during the dry season. We can't afford our chicken feed that we have for our organic free range chickens. Uh, we can't afford it in the sense that it makes our eggs and our meat too expensive in the marketplace uh, for people to buy. Agave is pretty amazing stuff. What we found is that if you do a lab analysis of just the fermented agave, it's about 9%, I think, protein, uh, mm. which is, you know, it's pretty good, but it's, alfalfa is more like 16, 18%. So uh, what these farmers who are also retired scientists figured out is if you put 12% of the mix in your fermentation, uh, if it's the pods of the mesquite trees, the bean trees that I described, it'll shoot the protein level up to about 18. There's a lot of other things in this too mm -hmm. that make it better than alfalfa. Alfalfa takes a lot of water. The agave plant uh, uses 126, the amount of water to produce a gram of biomass as alfalfa. We can take charge of our environment and really our whole economic system uh, if we will transform this degenerative food and farming and land use system we have now uh, into one that is organic and regenerative.